I, I mentioned this crazy aftermath story. I tease this regarding the fan that was pummeled at Madison Square Garden. You know, I had forgotten that it was a it was a Lightning fan. So it was last season's yeah. playoffs. I think the Lightning won. Obviously, it won was in Madison Square Lightning Garden. Lightning and Rangers, right at Madison Square Garden. Were they eliminated, or were the Rangers eliminated, Andrew, in Madison Square Garden? Like it was the last game of the series. Was that the deal? I don't remember. If it was the last okay. game. I believe the Lightning won that night, though. Yeah, of course. Yeah, sure. I, this is crazy. I've never heard of this happening. I saw. I had the story last Friday, but I just didn't get around to it. A law firm representing the guy, the Lightning fan, that was sucker punched leaving the game at Madison Square Garden. And that video went viral. That video was all over the place. The guy a guy turned around. And here, oh, Fester's got the video right here. Now, it was the audio. Oh, my. Do you remember this? The, the guy was, was late. Can I bring the audio up? Uh, I don't know. I, I bet. Yeah, I better not. I, I, here, well, look at that. Ooh. Yeah, the guy in the red shirt turns around, just cold cocks him right in his face. Is that, a, is that a haymaker? Is that what you call those kinds of punches? Uh, that's that's just a, hook. That's a, that was a hook. That <laughs> was just a, a knockout punch is what that was. Haymaker's a little wider. And this video gotcha. went viral. They showed this on all the local channels, you know, Channel 8, Channel 28, Channel 10, uh, Channel 13. Listen, this was a all, national story. It, it was. It was a national story. All of the local channels... Talked about it. We talked about it here on the MJ Morning Show. How would you do that? The guy was just laid out as they were walking out of Madison Square Garden. Now, here is the twist to the story, which is crazy. A law firm who is representing the guy that was sucker punched, they have been banned from going to events at Madison Square Garden. The, the victim's the, attorney? The the victim's what? attorneys, the actual attorneys, they can't go to concerts or events at Madison Square Garden. So Madison Square Garden and uh, is it the Dolan's family, whatever the story is, five lawyers. I've never heard of this happening. So obviously the guy hired New York lawyers. Yes. So five lawyers of Greenberg Law PC claim... An MSG, Madison Square Garden attorney, told them on November 28th, the same day they filed a lawsuit on behalf of the punch victim, Joseph uh, Urchioli, they are now barred from entering any Madison Square Garden-owned venues. Oh, man, they get a lot of good shows. <laughs> so, when, <laughs> Seinfeld, I think. I yeah. think I think some of the partners were planning to go to Seinfeld, and now they're allegedly not allowed to enter the building. The lawyers. Can you imagine how a vendetta? Can you imagine how vindictive is it if you're a, a, an upstanding lawyer, lawyer, you're representing a guy who's suing MSG, and MSG says to the lawyers, nope, you're suing us. You're not allowed to even come into our building to see a concert. I mean, it's not that crazy. I, mean, <laughs> I, I almost agree with MSG. I mean, <laughs> what are you talking about? Listen, anybody, come on. Anybody who sues me, I never want you at my place again. Oh, come on. This is like a, a public venue for, you know, for crying out loud. I actually, it's not. Not I, the I, Nolan listen, Zone. I, I understand. It's a pro but you get what I'm saying. I understand. Now, the lawyers... The lawyers who have now been barred from attending shows at Madison Square Garden or games or any venues that they own or operate, they've now filed a lawsuit themselves. Two of the firm's lawyers, Alan Greenberg and Joseph D. Paola, <laughs> uh, Paola uh, have tickets to upcoming MSG venue events, and they're no longer allowed to attend. <laughs> Nolan family handled this all wrong. They should have rather enticed this law firm with tickets and stuff. Let's go. do a plea deal and let's try to work this out. And by the way, here's, you know, um, seats on the court. Oh, it's what? They, they should have brownied yeah. up to him for yeah. a, for an easier uh, easier settlement. Exactly. Whatever happened, Nolan with family. The, whatever happened to the Lightning fan? Did he get paid? We, uh, no, that's in litigation. Okay, so. Oh, I, okay, I didn't understand what you're saying. So you're saying that. Butter them up. I butter them up. Just get drop the lawsuit. We'll give you great tickets. Yeah, or, uh, or let's work out a deal that we're all happy with. I, and now, one of the partners, this D. Paola guy, he has tickets to see the Christmas Spectacular at oh. Radio City Music Hall. That falls under the same venue ownership. 
they're not allowed to go there. Oh my gosh, they can't go. I, how would they know? They're, I, how they, would MSG know? Well, that's that's true. How would? Well, I, I guess they ticket? they issued them like a, a a trespass warning, or you're not welcome if you. You Their just, name comes up in the system when they try to buy a ticket. You can't sell them. These are the ones suing the guy who got sucker so punched. So, Dee Paola has tickets to the Rockettes Christmas Spectacular at Radio City Music Hall oh, with his show. wife and kids ages 7 and 5. Oh. Uh, and then on Sunday, Greenberg had tickets to see comedian Jerry Seinfeld. Oh, I'm sorry. So, uh, the Radio City Music Hall Spectacular, that was going to be Sunday. And then... The other partner at the law firm, Greenberg, has tickets to see... Blippy Live? <laughs> ...comedian Jerry Seinfeld at the Beacon Theater. Oh, oh that's right. So up on uh, Broadway, the Beacon, that's where Jerry likes to do his uh, shows. I'd rather see Blippy. So uh, the Beacon's up in, what, the 70s, like 70... Was that like 75th or 76th? So, uh, 74th. So the Beacon Theater... This guy can't even go to the Beacon Theater because it's also an MSG, a Madison Square Garden venue. That is such crap. So they filed a lawsuit. Uh, MSG's ban has essentially accused the firm of unethical behavior without any evidence that will damage their reputation. And the ban will intimidate and dissuade potential clients from contacting the firm. Greenberg Law wants a judge to overturn the prohibition of disallowing, banning the lawyers from attending events at these venues just because they're representing the Lightning fan that was decked at Madison Square Garden by a Rangers fan last uh, spring. All right. Yeah. So this is standard operating procedure, apparently, for Madison Square Garden. Yeah, well, I'm about to get to that. Okay, all right. They've got this vindictive vendetta of a policy. If you sue us, we're banning all attorneys. What is that? That come on, that is that's illegal. They can't do that. Yes, they can. Well, guess what? They've a, a lawsuit's been filed. I guess we're going to find out uh, if a New York judge thinks it's okay. I don't think that that is uh, fair. I don't think that that is uh, legal for them to ban what lawyers. What are you talking about? What well, do you, you mean? What am I talking who, about? Who, who, who? It makes sense to me. They're suing the place. The place doesn't want a wanna... massive venue that holds fifteen or, or eighteen thousand people, and you're a law firm that's suing because you have a client that was injured yeah. and they're claiming negligence, and you should be able to ban the attorneys from coming. Get out of here! I think so. No, yeah, it sounds right. No, no, more, it, what, I'm trying what is to, wrong with you guys? I'm trying to think about it. Clearly, what is wrong with you listen, guys? Life's not fair. You if you own me? MSG, my God, why don't you guys go work for MSG and the Dolan's family? They'll, <laughs> they'll love you guys. Yeah. MSG, you know, is the stuff in Chinese food. Monosodium glutamate. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'm, MSG <laughs> equals flavor, according to Uncle Roger. That's right. <laughs> Mr. Dolan, call me. I'm available. Listen, I'd love to work for that. Can, yeah, I'd I stand at the gate and kick yeah, all these lawyers yeah, I'm out. I'm certain. To th- I, yeah, I wouldn't. What is wrong out. with you because, guys? Because I've, I've actually me. been sued before. I My, my you know. You were sued for what? A uh, long story related to my ex-husband's dog. And I remember. Oh, that's right. The, yeah. the dog bit off a kid's face. Yes. No, 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 no. Kid no. looks like yeah, uh, was, Cher's kid now. It was old frivolous. Half- it was very <laughs> frivolous. Rocky Dennis. Yeah. yeah. Old half face Henry, a poor little kid. And I was, yeah, I was oh. like, get the bleep out of my house. You don't want anybody. You know what? We ought to no. take some phone calls on this. You know what? Uh, I, I, you're I, way want, off, I think you're way off base on this. I am buddy. not way off. All right. Let's go to phones. Are there any lawyers listening? I'd like to hear from lawyers or anyone else that wants to weigh in on this. All right. Again, you have a Lightning fan that was decked by a Rangers fan at Madison Square Garden. So the Lightning fan, this was that viral video that went totally uh, viral back uh, last spring. Guy was laid out on the floor with a total left hook or whatever the hell it was. And the Lightning fan who was decked up in Madison Square Garden in New York hired this law firm. And now to sue. So he, right. they're suing on behalf of the guy that was decked saying negligence, security issues, you know, litany of things, unsafe conditions. So now Madison Square Garden is telling the attorneys, a big New York law firm, that, nope, your lawyers are not allowed to come into our buildings to see shows like Radio City Musical, the Beacon Theater, Madison Square Garden. Come on, that's bogus. Let's go to phones on this. 800-990-1047. I've got Froggy and Fester that think that there's nothing wrong with this. Angie, hold up. Put yourself on the other side. You own any establishment. Forget Madison Square Garden. You own 
MJ's house of ham hocks. Waffles, and, waffles. And, and, and waffles. MJ's Waffle House. There you and go. And you're involved in litigation with somebody? Somebody's trying to sue you? You would let them in hey, for waffles? Common. Hey, come on in, guys. There's Have a, a seat. difference between a mom-and-pop little uh, 12-table waffle shop versus <laughs> a theater that holds a couple of thousand, like Radio City no, Music no. Hall. I think that or, makes it. Or Madison yeah. Square Garden that holds, I don't know what, 18,000, whatever the, the capacity is in there. Come on, that's bogus. All right, let's go to phones on this. I'd love to hear from lawyers. 800-990-1047. 800-990-1047. By the way, I'm running a little late here because I had teased that the crew is going to just ravage me. The The crew is going to pummel me on something, and we'll get to that here in just a minute. So th- this just took on a life of its own. Look at the phones here. I want to hear from you, 800-990-1047. I say this is bogus to prevent lawyers that are suing a major venue because of a hurt fan, and they're trying to prevent the lawyers from going to any shows? Okay, the oh, hurt come on. fan is just the storyline. Cr- they, they bar anybody right. who's involved in litigation. I'm surprised against. you have this angle. And you guys, are, you guys are siding I with the agree. venue? <laughs> I don't yeah. agree. Yeah. Get out you of my agree house. too? Get out of my house. Yes, she's, yes, she's with us. Oh my God, what is wrong with you There's guys? There's a price to suing somebody. All right. You know. uh, 754 at the MJ Morning Show. Let's say hi to George in Tampa. Hey, George. Hey, how's it going, y'all? Yes, sir. Hey, so uh, I'm agreeing with you, MJ. Like, I think it's really stupid to like ban lawyers who are just doing their job, like, protect, like basically protecting their client. Like, Roxanne, I get it if you don't want somebody at your house, but, like, this is a venue, like what MJ's been saying. Like, this isn't something, like, really personal. It's just they're doing what they're being paid to do. Mm. Now, uh, would you can you really say the same thing about cops whenever they come to your house? Like, sure, you don't want them there, but it's their job to be there, like... Tell you what, yeah, if they, I had 10 bucks for every time you said like, I'd be able to pay my lease payment for my BMW this month. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Hey, hey, George, thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. Like, well, like, not a problem. Uh, have a great George. one, George. George. Man, <laughs> you can be mean to George. No, I, he's agree he's with on your you. side. I, 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 no, all right, George, I'm sorry. <laughs> thank you, George. Right, George was on, just like eight is on my side. George is on George, my side. Let me tell but everybody. he had an inordinate number of likes. <laughs> George is going to, like, walk you right into Madison Square You just said, like, I know. I know. It's infectious. David and Zephyr Hills. David, you're on the MJ Morning Show. Hi. Hey, how you doing? Uh, Go ahead, David. So, in in my mind is that the lawyers are taking care of this case for this person. So the, that venue doesn't want them in there because they'd be able to see what's going on, the lighting, the mm. cars. Well, they'd they be able to get that through discovery they want, anyway. They in there, so they, yeah. I, I agree with it. They shouldn't be allowed in there. All right, They're thanks fine. for the call. I well, who's keeping track? So it's far, one, it's one. Even. Yeah, it's even. I yeah. know four I mean, against. Uh, we don't have so the pals and votes. Now yet. we're one one. Uh, let's grab Carmella in Brandon. Hey, Carmella, welcome to the MJ Morning Show. Thank you. Um, I guess I have a question. Has nobody, like, pressed charges against the individual who slapped the lightning fan? Yeah, I, that's a great question. I, I was wondering that myself. they did identify the guy, and, yeah, and wasn't the guy charged? He was sentenced to anger management. <laughs> that was That was it? Is that wow. for real? So yeah. The, could so, have killed well, the guy. Carmella, there might be a civil case against him, but the real money is right. Madison Square Garden. Exactly. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I kind of see both sides. I mean, I see... Froggy's point or Fester's point on, you know, if, you know, a mom and pop versus a large venue. But, you know, MSG is run by who? The family, the Dalton family? Yeah, the, the, Dolan, family? the Dolan family, the Dolans. Right. Yeah. So do they just have a right to refuse service to anybody they want? I mean. Yeah, yeah. I think they do. I think at the back of the ticket. When you're, if dealing you're with, when you're dealing with a massive venue and that many people can attend, it's not a little small little place. It's more of a public venue. I don't see how they can get away with it. Hey, thanks, Carmella. Say hi to Tony. For, say hi to Tony for me, okay? <laughs> I will. Stay yeah, away I from Furio. Hey, do, you, do you, uh, you like you like the Sopranos? I love the Sopranos. I know. I know. Yeah. Carmella, I love you it. You asked me that the last time I called. Uh, your husband out feeding ducks in the pool in the backyard? <laughs> it's always got Carmella. You've heard this, you've heard this before. All right. Yeah, yeah Carmella, I'm gonna, every, have, every yeah. time you call, right. I'm going to give you the Sopranos business. That's fine by me. Fine uh, by me. Thanks. Thanks, Carmella. This Mateo. Mateo's in St. Pete. Hello, Mateo. You're on the MJ Morning Show. <laughs> Good morning. How are you? Oh, you're an attorney. 
I am. All right. What type of an attorney? What do you practice? What type of law? Uh, civil. All right. So you've heard the facts in the case. What are your thoughts of Madison Square Garden banning these attorneys that are suing on behalf of this injured, decked fan, banning the attorneys from going to any venue? What, what are your thoughts? Well, I have a couple of thoughts. First of all, I'm a Devils fan. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Screw the Rangers. That's right. Yeah, right. No. Um, actually, I picked up uh, this conversation as I got into the vehicle, but based on the information I do know and the basics that uh, you've mentioned, Madison Square Garden is a privately owned company. Yes. A privately owned facility. Correct. So um, I'm not familiar with New York state law, but normally if it's, a pri- if it's deemed a privately owned company, you really have the ability to decide who can be there and who can't. Um, from that pure, just in, a, in that purest of sense. I get it. I understand okay. that. I have the understand that it's private property. You have the right to allow who you want or ban who you want. But when it, but it's not your typical little corner coffee shop. This is a large venue where where thousands of people gather. I think that changes the picture. I don't think it does. Okay. So, Mateo, if you're representing this guy and you're not allowed to go see any more shows or games there, are you like these jerks? Or are you like, huh? Kind of makes sense. Well, well, yeah, of course. I mean, it's not that it makes sense. It's just if they choose to not have me attend anything there, I mean, that, that's their right. They own it. Well, the two attorneys from this law firm in New York representing the Lightning fan that was decked by the Rangers fan uh, leaving the venue, the two lawyers that have been banned, they have filed suit. So now they're going to leave it up to a a judge in New York, a Manhattan Supreme Court uh, lawsuit was filed. So we'll see what the judge they says. They have every right to do that, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. they have every right to do that. I mean, I don't know, like I said, every single law that's there, but the basic functionality of something that's privately owned as opposed to a public venue is this is owned by a private All right, so would you have the same attitude? Let's say, let's say, Leah, let's, let's say something local. All right, so Mateo, you're an attorney in St. Pete. I have an example. Uh, oh, 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 okay. Oh, he has uh, an example. All right, go ahead. I'm at Amelie Arena. Yes. Going up the escalator. My wiener gets stuck in the escalator. <laughs> I want to sue Amelie Arena. I still want to go to the games, even though I'm wienerless. You just sue your father. <laughs> um, <laughs> will they let me go to the games, even though I'm suing? And wienerless. <laughs> All right, Mateo's a lawyer. Again, you may you may be wienerless, but you may not still be able to go to that game. I'm sorry to tell you. Uh, Mateo, <laughs> but also, who, who, who owns Emily Arena if it's a publicly and out of a game? Yeah, doesn't Vinick doesn't Vinick own yeah. Emily so Arena? If Mr. Vinick owns right. it and it's a privately held company, then he has a right to. Eliminate the unit. Right. So, here. Mateo, my question to you is: Your here's the deal. You're representing Wienerless Froggy, who got his unit caught in the escalator. Uh, so, you, the lawyer, w- would you be okay if suddenly Amelie Arena said, "Hey, Mateo, you're not allowed to come see the Trans Siberian Orchestra or whatever." I have to decide that Wienerless Froggy is either going to be able to pay my bill if I lose. And me feel good enough to say, okay, I'm willing to never go to this this, this venue ever again just because I'm representing Wienerless Froggy. <laughs> right. So, Mateo, quick question. If, if you represented Wienerless Froggy, do you bill him a percentage or do you bill him an hourly? You know what? I, I thought about that. It, the fact that he's Wienerless, I'm going to give him a little bit of a break. Thank you. you know, if I decide to take the case because- you know, going forward, you got a whole lot of other problems going on. Right. <laughs> the, the waiterless litigant is entering the courtroom. Hey, guys. Thanks for having me. Nice to meet you. Here yeah. comes Froggy. He was on an escalator at Amelie Arena when his wiener got caught inside the stair plates. Just, it was yanked off. It really was a horrific... Uh, nice to see you, Judge. It was a horrific, horrific day. And now Froggy is wienerless. Uh, Literally, hey. no wiener. Uh, and his attorney, Mateo, is doing the whole thing pro bono. <laughs> well, no, not pro bono. I just had a, well, I mean, if you lost half your wiener, I'd give you a half a break. No. Oh. It's all... So, all right, Mateo. All right, Mateo. Mateo, have a great day, buddy. I don't need you one up in my pro boner joke. Come have, on, Mateo. Have a nice day, Mateo. 
Wow. Thank you. Bye bye. He's <laughs> the only other funny lawyer I've ever heard. Yeah, but he's not really trying to be. No. I think he was. Let me tell you I something. Think he was Let me tell you something, MJ. Think... Mateo bills by the hour. I can tell because he's a slow talker. He's uh, good. He's good. Yeah. yeah he's I, good. I like Mateo. Yeah. Mateo, feel free to check in again. Uh, time, whatever. All right. All right. Chuck in St. Pete. Hello, Chuck. You're on the MJ Morning Show. Hi. Hey, good morning. Um, unfortunately, I disagree with Mateo and I agree with George. Although it's a publicly, as privately owned venue, it's a public venue being offered, so they really don't have the right to just unilaterally say we're not going to let certain people in unless there's some justifiable cause. And under the law in the state of Florida, which may be different in New York, but probably isn't, lawyers have a kind of immunity for what they do in court. And I think if I'm the judge in New York, I'm going to throw that in the face of MSG and say, yeah, you guys can't just ban him because he's the lawyer suing you. Maybe they can ban the Lightning fan because litigation is going on. I don't even think they can do that. But as a public venue, I don't think they can ban it. Now, Chuck, are you a lawyer? I am. So look at this, another attorney. Now, Chuck, what type of law do you practice? I also practice in civil litigation yep. and a lot of family law. All right, so here we've got, we need to put Chuck and Mateo yes, yes, in yes. a room and let them battle it out. Because mm-hmm. here we have two lawyers that have two different uh, views on this. See, I and just don't, you, when you're dealing with a large public venue, I just, I can't imagine that a Manhattan Supreme Court judge uh, is going to side with uh, Madison Square Garden and ban the attorneys. I agree. Uh, I thank you, Chuck. I appreciate it. Look at that. Two back-to-back lawyers. Yeah. See, Chuck charges a percentage because he's oh, a fast talker. You yeah. forgot to run your wiener story by him. Wiener oh, list. Uh, Chuck sorry. heard the whole thing. And he gave grab, no break. Let's grab Joy <laughs> in Lakeland. Hey, Joy, you're on the MJ Morning Show. Hi. Hi. And I want everyone to know, I want everyone to know that Joy is not listening to Joy. Joy is listening to the MJ Morning Show where you really get the most joy. Yes. And a lot of wienerless talk. <laughs> All right. Uh, hi, Joy. You're on the MJ Morning Show. Hello. Hi. So it's going to be a little hard to follow uh, Mateo and Chuck, but I am not attorney. Um, however, I think that it is just petty for, um, for M- what is it, MGN? To, uh, Madison Square you know, Garden. Yeah, Madison Square Garden. On what basis to ban them? I mean, it just sounds like they're salty, they're petty, yep. and they're just doing it out of spite. So I have to agree with you, MJ. I agree with you. Uh, Thank you very much. Have you been keeping track, MJ? Yeah, we, yeah. We, Roxanne and I have both lost track. Yep. Um, I think that I've got now four that agree with me and two. Seven. No, three. Three, what? three, three. What? I don't know. No matter. It's, it's, I thought you said you weren't keeping that. track. I was testing you. Okay. Uh, uh, oh my. Ed, uh, two more calls. I got to move on here. Ed is in Tampa. Hello, Ed. Ed, welcome. Hey, how are you? Good morning. Thank you, Ed. Go ahead. My question is if the attorneys show up for an event, how is anybody going to know? Thank All you. They, do is scan, they scan their ticket, they go sit down, and they could say, oh, I bought it from an attorney that was banned. Yeah, listen, that is certainly a possibility, and I thought of that as well, that if you're, or you have someone else buy your tickets, they don't know who you are. Uh, I don't know if they can do a name search, or if uh, if you buy a ticket under your name uh, for one of their venues, I don't know if a red flag starts flashing in the computer, but there are ways to get tickets, and how would you know? If you're going into an event with uh, thousands of people at Radio City Music Hall to see the Rockettes, or you're going to see Jerry Seinfeld in the Beacon Theater, which, uh, what does the Beacon hold? Like 1,600? Go go look. Uh, uh, Roxanne, look at the capacity of the Beacon Theater on Broadway in New York. Or if you go to Madison Square Garden, uh, yeah, how would they really know, you know, if you're inside? So, Ed, that is a very good point. Thanks. All right, last call on this. Troy in Land Lakes. Hey, Troy, MJ Morning Show, Q105. Hello. Good morning, MJ. Hey. Uh, I agree with you. Um, first of all, I, I believe... They can't do this. I think the lawyers are going to win their case. The lawyers are operating operating as officers of the court. They're not operating as themselves. If Madison Square Gardens is able to uphold this, it would intimidate other lawyers from bringing lawsuits in the future to private venues. Um, so I completely agree with you. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. All right. I, to me, listen, I think I'm a reasonable guy. This just struck me as... I think odd and ultimately because of the size of the venues 
and these are more public gathering places. I don't know how enforceable this could be. Yes, Andrew. As this goes to court, will they ban the judge from coming to the court? Oh, yeah, that's right. The judge, the, if the judge rules in favor. Yes. Yeah. By the way, Your Honor, I hope you're not a Knicks fan because yeah. you're never welcome back. I right, Fessy, do you have f- one final word on this? No, I don't because you said you are a reasonable person, and I was thinking because I am a petty person, <laughs> absolutely ban these lawyers. Get out of my place. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. What all else right. was there? Uh, so Greenberg Law is representing oh. that guy, uh, Ur- Ursioli, who lives in Connecticut. He was the Lightning fan, in, the, in his case, against the stadium. Uh, and James Anastasio, 29, of Staten Island. He's the guy that slugged this uh, uh, Ursioli guy wearing the Tampa Bay Lightning jersey while he was leaving the Rangers game. The incident caught on video went totally viral all over the place. Uh, Anastasio socked this Ursicoli guy for trying to stop him from running away after the initial sucker punch. Uh, Anastasio pleaded guilty in September to assault and was sentenced, as Andrew said, to anger management. Hmm. All right. You were inquiring about yeah. the capacity at Beacon Theater. Yes. 2,800. 2,800. Wow. Okay. So Beacon Theater is even larger. I've never been in the Beacon Theater, but that's where Seinfeld, when he does the New York shows, Seinfeld likes to operate in the the Beacon Theater.